You're saying she's not a cat? Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Roth Draws. My name is Ross and I draw, but can I draw characters based only on their description? We've done this once before and it was super fun. Some of the characters I got pretty close, but a majority, oh man, I was way off. And so you guys seem to really enjoy this. That's why we're doing it again. Let's go. Mirko, like she guy. has red eyes with long white hair. She has an athletic body with muscular arms and her skin is tanned. She has a pair of long white rabbit-like ears pointing upward. Her costume consists of a slim fitting sleeveless white leotard. And lastly, she wears a pair of thick white gloves with long cuffs. What's a leotard? For some reason growing up, I always compared leotard to like leopard. I never... She automatically reminds me of like a Lola bunny. By the way, guys, I have one lifeline question I can ask for more clarifying features. Let me just sketch it out and let's see where I get. A fluffy tail. Like a wolf? Rabbit. Okay, I'm gonna use my question. Does she have a bunny nose? What kind of nose does she have? Human nose. What? Hey, you know what? I feel like in anime, people just draw dots for noses anyway. Oh, shit. It's not bad. Wait, how are those bunny ears? I feel like she looks like a devil. There is no fluffy tail in this. It's on the back. This is not a leotard. You know what? Not bad, not bad. I'm actually kind of impressed on how similar I got it because compared to the last video, it was horrendous. Gwen is a doll that has been transformed into a human and wields a giant pair of scissors. She is heterochromatic, with her right eye being a teal and the other being violet. Her hair forms twin drill pigtails, with each pigtail curled tightly into a drill-like formation and held together with two big black bows. League of Legends? I've seen her. We snip, snip, snip. She's melee. I play a lot of ARAMs, and Zach always takes this damn character. <laughs> Every time, dude. Here's my progress so far. I'm not sure about the little detail, but I get the general essence. Okay, then I'd like to use my lifeline question. What major feature am I missing? Her hair and her scissors are the same color. You know what? All the other characters had the same angle, so I wanted to, you know, freshen things up, choose a more bird's eye view, work on the perspective. We all like perspective. After TV choice class, which she's about to teach, John character in perspective, I'm just wanting to apply the lesson to my own work. Where can they find TV's course? They can find it on patreon.com slash rossdraw. Sign up by the end of the month, have access to both her classes. No, it, it's, it's it's the lighting. Red plus teal equals magenta. <laughs> Anyways, I'm kind of proud of this one regardless. I love League of Legends ARAM. I used to play it all the time. So uh, yeah, I had some idea what this character looked like. Guzzlord is a black bipedal creature highlighted by bioluminescent blue and yellow markings. On its round, bloated stomach is an enormous mouth and from it protrudes a pair of tongues each with a set of jaws and teeth of its own. 
It has a small triangular head on the top of its body and a tail tipped with a mace-like club. Guzz. 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 Not that it mattered, but Guzz Lord. Okay, this is my little icon sketch based off the description. I'm gonna use this as kind of a starting base for my drawing. Wish me luck. I feel like I know, based off the description, that it's a water type. Nope. What type is this Pokemon? It is Dark Dragon. Dark Dragon? Are you sure? Dark Dragon? I'm in deep. I'm just gonna carry it through the end and just hope for the best. Dark Dragon? Let me explain my concept before I see it. This is Guzzlord, kind of this tribal, fun, psychedelic from the depth of the ocean. With the two tongues, this is where he eats cloisters and shelters. Oh, shoot! Dude, it's not, it's not bad. Dude, it's not bad. This is like a pre-evolution, like this evolves into this. I wanna hear what it sounds like. Ah! Oh my God. Ah! Dimple hey, is boy. a self-proclaimed upper class evil spirit. Dimple's distinguishing features are the red circles on his cheeks, which appear on the face of any human he possesses. His usual form is that of a wispy cloud of smoke. He occasionally grows arms and rarely legs. Even in his simplest form, his human-like face looks a little too detailed with a prominent nose and lips. Okay, wow. This is my little icon sketch. Just to uh, brainstorm a little bit. This is from the anime Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho, yeah. got it. Did you ever watch Bear in the Big Blue House? Yeah. There's this moon character. Freaking creepy, but it's reminding me of that moon. Yo, look at that clean circle. Come on, look at that. Oh, come on, dude. That's pretty good. Here, let me try it. Perfect circle. You know what? Let's just appreciate this beautiful curve down here. Evil spirit is usually kind of a darker, maybe purple or blue. Oh, I still have a, my question. What color is it? He is green. Oh, oh my gosh. He's green? Mm -hmm. Dang, oh, that's a beautiful question. What the f is this? Ew! What the hell? Diona wow. is a small young girl with fair skin and short pink hair. Part of her hair is pulled into a stiff pigtail at the front of her head. She also has pink, black, and white cat ears. Diona wears a large dark indigo cap. She also wears navy blue boots that are shaped with raised heels. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. This reminds me of Klee all over again. You know, just stacking stuff on top of stuff. I don't know if this looks right. I feel like this is like some Nickelodeon cartoon, but it could be right because in Genshin, there's so many different unique designs. This, this could be it. What character body type does Diona resemble? A lolly, what's that? So it's not a cat? Young girl. You're saying she's not a cat? Oh no! 
and you better include it in the video. There are cats that have this fluffy tail. I think I'm thinking of maybe like a fox, but I feel like I had this problem last time. I, I went to basic. I feel like Genshin characters are much more elaborate. They have like amazing shape language and cool designs. I feel like this is a trilogy. And by the third episode, I'll have nailed the Genshin character. And there you go. You know what? I feel like I did worse than last time, but hopefully by part three, I'll nail all the characters, especially Genshin and Pokemon. Jesus, what is this? Also, next week, my whole entire store is 20% off for Black Friday. That means apparel, books, and prints. It's gonna be awesome. So head to my website, rothschild.com. Sign up for the email listing to know exactly when we go live. Next month, TB Choi is gonna be your special guest artist for Digital Art Bootcamp. It's gonna be so awesome. She's teaching two classes. So head to patreon.com slash rothschild to learn more. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was super fun. So don't forget to subscribe. Remember, every day is the Color Dodge today.